Let's see how to develop first application in ASP.NET. Today our target is what? We have to develop our first application in ASP.NET. Okay. So if you want to develop first application in ASP.NET, open your Visual Studio. Then select what? Create new application. I mean, create a new project. Here in a search word, just type ASP.NET web application. Whenever you type ASP.NET uh, web application, uh, then now observe here ASP.NET web application .NET framework, ASP.NET web application .NET framework. We have two options available, right? So one is what, but here observe, this is VB, this is C sharp. So now that means ASP.NET we can develop by using VB.NET, ASP.NET we can develop by using C sharp.NET also. So let me develop the C sharp. So go for what C sharp. Next. Now here location, it is asking about the location. That means where you want to save this project. So I just want to save this project where in uh, some other D drive, I created a folder. So the folder name is called ASP. In D drive, I just want to create a folder called ASP, select the folder. I just want to save in D drive. So D drive folder. And what is my project name? So let's observe my project name. I'm doing my project called Amazon project. So I gave the name as project name Amazon. See, we are developing project. One project contains many web pages. So project name is Amazon. Now click on what create option. Now choose empty and click on what web forms. Choose empty, click on what web forms. Then click on what create option. Because we are, I just want to develop web forms, basic web forms. That's it. There's a reason I choose what web forms. Now your website is open, I mean your web application open. Up to now I don't have any web pages. Let me add web page. In order to add the web page, what to do? Go to view solution explorer. This is the first window I open. So solution explorer, which is used to add web pages, remove web pages, modify web page name. And we can see whatever the project, whatever the web pages are available in our project. Everything we can see by using your solution explorer. Right click add new item in the new item web form now my first web form i just want to do basic application my application is what full name i just want to find the full name so now here full name example one whatever the application whatever the web page name we have just write that web page name full name example one click on add option right now by default, whenever we are adding any web page, by default, three options comes. One is called what? Source window, split window, and design window. Three options comes. Now I have to design my window, right? Let me design first. Place the cursor, enter. Now here, what is our target in a sense? Design the form, enter. First name, enter. Last name. Okay. Uh, yeah. Then I need what a button. Then I need what full name. Right. Now in the place of first name, as part of the first name, what I am going to do, I need text box, right? So I need a tools. So let me add the tools. How to get the tools? Go to view. There's an option called toolbox at below bottom toolbox available here. In standard tools, there is an option called standard tools. In the standard tools, observe first name, right? In the standard tools, let me add what text box. Last name, let me add what text box. Full name, let me add what text box. Here in middle, I need one button. Okay, just to place the cursor where you want. Just observe the button control. Double click. Right, first name, last name, button, full name. Button, right click, go to where properties. In the properties, make the name as what? Make the name as what? So, full name or submit your choice. Whatever the name you want to visible on the screen, okay, 
then that the name you can give. Let me increase the font size. Select. Here there is an option called bowl in the toolbar and bowl and size. Let me increase the large size. That's it. My design is done, guys. Observe my design is done. Now I have to write the code, right? Observe in ASP.NET. In ASP.NET, so there is a if you create one file, internally two files are created. Observe in Amazon. I created full full name example one dot ASPX, right? So now observe if you extend it. So ASPX.CS designer dot CS. Two files are created, right? Now here your design available in designer dot CS. Your code available in that code. Okay, this is your program. Now our target is what design is done, but I have to write the actual code. Where I have to write? Simply double click this button. Simply double click this button. Whenever you double click this button, observe void button one underscore click. Why button one underscore click in the sense observe your form once here. First one ID is what text box one. Second one ID is what text box two. First one ID is the text box one. Second one ID is the text box two. So here button button ID is what button one. This one is text box three. Before writing the code, verify IDs of each and every control. Before writing the code, verify IDs of each and every control. Okay. Now let me double click. Whenever you double click this one, by default, one method open. We have to write the logic there because in the real time, user enter first name, last name. After click the button, after click the button, I need to perform operation, right? After click the button, there's a reason we need to do what? Just to double click, one method comes. Void, it is a written type. Button one, observe button one. It is the ID of the control. Click, it is called as an event. So what is the method name now? A method name is a combination of ID underscore event name. So my ID name is button one underscore event name is click. So method name is what button one underscore click. By default, we are going to get two uh, parameters. Don't worry about the parameters. Now inside write the logic. Now our target is what first user will enter first name, last name, right? So read text box one value in text box one. He will enter some value. I have to read that value. How to read the value string something called a equal to text box one dot text. Text box one dot text. Then read text box two value. How to read string b equal to text box two dot text. Now I need to find full name. Now, so what uh, find full name? Okay. How to find full name? Add. What a comma b then store into c variable. Now string c equal to string c equal what I will do a plus b. A and b values are added means first name last name added the name stored into c. Now the full name available in c right but the full name I want to display in text box 3. So display c value in where c. C value in where text box three. Display C value in where text box three. How to write the code? Text box three dot text equal to text box three dot text equal to C. That's it. Program is finished. So what we observe the process. First we open a file. Then what we done? We went to view solution explorer. Right click. We added one web page, new item, added one web page. After adding the web page, the next step is what we done. We went to design page. And in the design page, we designed this page by using what? Toolbox. Here toolbox available with the help of this toolbox. We design our page, page design. Then I have to write the, I have to change the name. Right click on the button, go to properties, change the names. Even you can change the colors, font style, everything here, right? 
and then double click this button business logic window open there we wrote the code now let me execute so here IAS express internet explorer here just to select this option now your program is going to execute it remember first time when you are executing first time when you are executing your asp.net program uh, now then what happened by default it will ask you some certification i mean some ssl certificate so give the permission as s provide the certificate as two times it will ask ssl certificate requirement so two times enter what ss so that what happened it will provide the certificate then it will open now enter first name I entered the first name as Sri. Last name is also Sri. Click on what full name. When I click the full name of the Sri Sri. Full name is what Sri Sri. Finish it. Close the program. Close it. Our program is done. This is the way we have to finish first program. Right? Once one program is done, I want to do another program. So I mean one more web page. One more task I want to do. If you want to do one more task, what to do? Go to View, Solution Explorer. So here, full name finish. Now I want to add two numbers. If you want to add two numbers, same process. Right click on your project. Go to Add, New Item, Web Form. Now I need to find addition of two numbers. Add, Example 1, Add. Now go to where? Design. Now here, Cursor, Enter. Okay, cursor enter. Then what to do? Design and you can go with a regular process. You can go what regular process. Fine. This is the way we have to finish our first application in ASP.NET, guys. In ASP.NET. Got it? Yeah. Like that, everyone finish the task one. Thank you, guys.